Hey y'all, it's Dawn. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's 24 degrees out. It has gotten warm. So there's a million people outside. I mean 24 Fahrenheit. Yes, it's cold outside. But it could be a lot worse. Let's see if this person's gonna let me go. I'm going to Hobby Lobby because I gotta get canvases. Um, I am going to paint something for my buddy up at the restaurant that I like to go to. Uh, he has a special interest, which of course I noticed because, of course I noticed, his special interest is wrestling masks. And I said, which one do you want me to do? I do it because I love going up there. And I said, if I, if I painted something, would you put it up? Uh, I commissioned myself for free. I, somebody had to say, don't say commission because I was saying I pimped myself out. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was like, don't call it that. But anyway, I said, which one do you want me to do? And he, La Parca. So I've been learning about La Parca. Because I can't just, like, paint something that I don't know anything about. Well, here's the deal. This feels so spiritual because La Parca is a representation in the wrestling community of the Grim Reaper, which I'm pretty fond of. I'm not going to get into all that, but I have a, a thing, and then an infinity? No. What's that word? I can't remember. It's not infirmary. I know that. <laughs> um, for skulls and, and things of that nature. Memento Moris. And, uh, I was watching about him. That, I'm so thankful for that. Google Translate on the... Um, is it Google? The YouTube Translate. Some of it was kind of hard to understand, but I got a lot of the gist. And I was very moved by some of the things I was watching. And it killed me. I was cracking up. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just now watching all this for the first time. With that, I'm trying to not appropriate. I'm learning about this because I want to make something for somebody. So people that I care about that have always been kind to me when they didn't have to be. Um, have always welcomed me. But uh, I was watching La Parca. And uh, he was doing that. This is Taylor dance, which I love. I was dancing too. I couldn't help it. And then, like, somebody would try to jump on him. He'd catch him in the, in the air. And then he would duck. Just to clarify any confusion, I'm talking about La Parca, not L.A. Park, who was played by Adolfo Margarito Tapia Ibero. I'm probably saying that wrong. He's alive and well, Major League Wrestling USA, as well as AAA Mexico. I'm talking about Jesus Alfonso Huerta Escabosa. Anyway, uh, this overwhelming message I kept hearing, because this went to a spiritual level with me, of course, because I was like, oh, he's a reaper? <laughs> um, but it was... Um, there will always be people that try to tell you that what you do is wrong and bad and not acceptable and strange. And I was like, what is this message coming from? And I was like, oh, it's because I lit a candle for La Parca while I was learning about him, you know? Um, and so the message was that there's always going to be people that do that and act that way. And those people have to do that and they have to act that way. So that the opposite of that is who they are, and it makes whatever behavior they are involved in honorable. So I had the overwhelming urge the other day to get this yellow candle, um, and I'm, I buy these sometimes. Something very interesting happened a few months ago. Uh, I quit being ill easily by candles. Used to, all candles made me sick. It's the toxic stuff in the wick and all this kind of stuff. Anyways, that is overwhelming urge to get this yellow candle. And so, and there's another candle I lit when I was learning about him. But I think this is going to be my La Parca candle. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know, a paint, let it dry, paint, let it dry. You have to know that. There's no way that these paintings can take six minutes or whatever. They usually take hours and hours and hours. So, this one, I printed out. I had to make do with two pieces, and pray to God they went together when I taped them at the library, and then we printed it as one. Not an easy thing to go by, and then I tried to trace it and transfer it. So this is a transfer method that I learned from a very famous artist. If you ever get the chance to buy any of his paintings, you would be so blessed. Uh, his name is Sketch Borg, and if I can find information about him, I will leave it in the comments below. But, uh, but again, this painting is for my friend, and I'm just over here thinking, I don't think I'm going to let this one go into... I'm trying to see if I can't get some of my paintings into the library on display, um, just to get myself out there and into the art thing. But this could borderline cultural appropriation, 
This is a gift from my friend who loves wrestling masks. I said I want to paint one of those for you. Which one? He said that new day. And I can tell you this painting is causing me all kinds of grief. I got stumped. But I took a break and I decided to learn how to paint some things that I'm just not sure about. I have the way I paint my roses, but I really want to do something like marigolds. You know, culturally, it's fitting, it's appropriate, it's appropriate, uh, you know, because La Parca, <laughs> I love saying that, um, means the reaper, and that's death, and the marigold is a sacred flower for graveyards, holding the memories of loved ones that have passed on, uh, seasonal. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do what's in my mind, and I don't know if I should try to have something in my mind. Because usually I don't, and I just go and roll and flow. But this is pushing me past my comfort zone very much. And I want to think that that's okay. So um, I'm still thinking about how I heard this message. And I th was meditating on this dude that passed away. I, th I kept thinking about somebody saying, if people try to make you feel weird and bad about yourself, it's because they need to feel good about themselves. I thought, wow. Okay, I'm going to try something. I'm a little nervous. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Whew, I'm scared. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, um, obviously they talk about Adolfo Tapia, but we're learning about Jesus Afonso Huerta Escobosa. Okay, so you probably already know about him. Uh, he was actually born on January the 4th of 1966, which is the same birthday of one of my favorite family members. They are both Capricorns. Unfortunately, he did pass away on January 11th of 2020 from injuries sustained from a stunt he did where he jumped off the stage. He was 54. And because for a long time there was two of these characters, people that did not speak Spanish might have been confused. Uh, but if you grew up in the wrestling community... It might just have been one of those things where there was two. They were kind of like rivalries, uh, you know. But here's the funny thing. This makes so much sense to me now after I learned so much more about him. Is that that whole message about people are going to do and say things. And, you know, you just got to be yourself and know that what you're doing is right. He, he wasn't wrong to take that role as La Parca Jr., you know, and became the Mexican La Parca. And the other guy changed his thing to L.A. Park. As a person on the spectrum with imposter syndrome, I can only imagine that people were horrible and hateful to him. But he also had people that loved him very, very much, especially if they were young and they grew up as he was the La Parca of Mexico. I am very, very honored that I feel like La Parca came to me and communicated with me from beyond the grave. Who am I for him to communicate with other than an artist? But I wanted to honor him and I wanted to do something nice for my friend. And I get it. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Taking a break, gotta let some paint dry. These flowers take time, having some decay. I had to get these marigolds right. I didn't know how to paint them and I had to learn how to paint them and I was adamant on this because I felt like I needed to put the marigolds on this painting out of respect. Uh, in Mexico, marigolds represent the fragility of life. You see them dear in uh, Dia de los Muertos. It's something I actually celebrate myself, but I don't make a big deal about it because, you know, it's culturally not my thing to make a big deal about, but I do celebrate it. And these flowers are very sacred, and I really wanted to learn how to do this. I really wanted to make sure I incorporated this and that they looked right. So it took me a lot of different ways of trying to learn how to do these marigolds, and I finally came up with my own way of doing it, but I think I tried, like, at least five or six different techniques on how to do this painting. So I love that I grew and I learned how to do this. <laughs> this was when I totally forgot that I had been recording and it was actually kind of funny. I was, you know, perched up like a gargoyle or something, but I'm, I'm on my chair like this. I literally get up like a gargoyle on my chair and I get up and down and I move around because my sensories get all jacked up. And I can't stand the way my butt feels on the seat. Then I can't stand the way my feet feel on the seat. And then I stand up and sit down. It's crazy. This was me trying to figure out what is it that's missing. It was driving me crazy. 
I figured out it needed two more marigolds. Very, very important. I can hear the morning birds. I have no clue what time it is. <laughs> That's what happens when you're somebody who paints. I thought it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I think it's like 6. I think it's like 6.30, which means I didn't even hear my husband leave for work. That's funny. I think he thought I was asleep. <laughs> That's funny. So anyway, so yeah, so the number 10 I thought was wonderful because the number 10 uh, is the number of the heaven and the world and universal creation. Uh, pulls it all together, you know, and I thought that was beautiful. And then I tend to do 12 roses because it represents the 12 stars around the crown of Mary in the Catholic tradition. So here I was um, doing the colors of the Mexican flag around the border. The background is actually the color of the Mexican flag as well. Um, this is me. <laughs> this is me practicing my best review bra from Report of the Week when he poses for his thumbnails. It's so smart to do that. Um, but here's the finished product, and I'm gonna hope and pray that they like the painting and that it brings people joy and it brings honor to La Parca. Be blessed.